Okay, can I have everybody's attention? Um, I just want to welcome everybody here today. Uh, Cinemark is very proud and happy to have uh, the pictures of Ms. Parker hung in both our theaters. There'll be two pictures hung, which are already hung, obviously. One here and then two at the other, at the Cinemark 17 at the uh, 1600 Lake Robbins. Uh, immediately following this, we'll go down to the other theater and unveil those. I do want to uh, especially thank uh, the Parker family for allowing us to do this. Uh, Rich had written into uh, the corporate office and uh, asked, uh, you know, he, his family comes to the theaters all the time and he had seen all the pictures and he goes, hey, it'd be really cool to have my mom's picture up here. And we thought it was really cool too, so we took him up on that offer. So. Yay! <laughs> but anyway, I want to say one more thing. Like I said, we're very, very happy and very honored to have this, and I'm going to turn this over to Rich now and uh, let him finish out. Thank you, Bill, and welcome uh, to everybody, all of our friends and family. We're humbled. Um, I'd like to start um, with a blessing um, from father of our parish, Father Tom Rack. I'm Tom Rack, didn't say anything. Let's just put ourselves in God's presence. Good and gracious God, we thank you for this day. We ask your blessings to come upon us as we rejoice um, in the life that lives on of a very wonderful woman, her life, her art, her talent, her gifts, that she so wonderfully shared with the world. We thank you for her life, for her family, especially for her son and daughter-in-law. We ask your blessing to come upon us as we rejoice and that we will be motivated to use our gifts for your glory. Almighty God, in your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, well, I'm just going to speak from the heart. Um, on behalf of uh, my wife Andy and my son Chase, uh, my brother Paul, and my sister Lori, uh, we want to um, thank you for being here and for uh, sharing with us this wonderful time and this wonderful celebration for my mother. Um, especially, I would like to thank um, Bill Shepard and from the corporate office, Brian Jeffries. Um, who made this all possible uh, and made it just easy for us to, to do this. And so uh, for that, we are thankful. Um, just want to say a word about my mom uh, and her career. Um, she um, started in the 1930s and went out to Hollywood and signed a seven-year contract with Warner Brothers Pictures, went on to make more than 80, 80 starred in 80 feature films and television projects. Uh, and you saw some of the memorabilia uh, down at the table. And um, she's looking down today. Mm -hmm. And she's happy. Yeah. <laughs> she smiled. So, thank you. Um, I also want to introduce um, the only person uh, in the Parker family that can carry on the Parker name. The only male person in the Parker family is my son Chase. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. he's, he's here to carry on the name of this generation, and then in the next generation, we don't know, but... <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no, but we want to all encourage him to get busy. <laughs> so, having said that, I'm going to turn it over he to Chase. Busy with I'm hoping he's going to have a film for us. <laughs> Let's clear that up. So, I'd like to turn it over to Chase for a few comments. And then we'll uh, have the ceremony. Then we're going across the street uh, and having some food and beverages. And then finally, we're going to see one of her most iconic films that you all know about, The Sound of Music. Cinemark is going to show The Sound of Music in an auditorium for us. All right? So thank you. Thank you. Well, um, yeah, no, this is uh, absolutely an incredible honor, uh, not just for my family and for my grandmother, but um, for the concept of what film does to our society today. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful medium uh, where you can share storytelling to remove people from the everyday crap of everyday life. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, it really is a great thing, and I could not be more honored to, to be a part of it myself. And um, the, 
the end, at the end of the day, um, you know, I was very close with my grandmother. Um, her and I were very close. I, when I was a kid, I'd hang out with her all the time. And uh, I'm unfortunately uh, starting to turn more and more into her, uh, her personality-wise. I'm becoming brutally honest with everybody. And uh, I got it all from her, so I have no one to thank but that. And uh, as far as, for those of you that do know me in my film career and what I've done up to this point, um, I have no one to thank but her, um, not for anything involving um, you know, her name or anything like that, but um, you know, she's been watching out for me and any sort of mistakes or accidents that have happened, it has always accidentally turned out to be a good thing and uh, I, I hold that up to her. So at the end of the day, um, you know, this whole medium of what we do, I mean, this right here, what's about to come down and what you get, whoever's going to go watch it, um, it it's, it's the coolest thing ever to see someone become immortalized through their work. And as an artist myself, um, I hope to do that one day. So um, without further ado. I, I just want to say too, really quick, we were so happy that Eleanor got to see a couple of Chase's films. And um, she was, as, as she said, when after he finished the first Close one, she was gonna sure watch it. Again. She said, now Chase, you need to know, I'm brutally honest. So if it's really bad, be ready, because I'm going to tell you that you got to find something else to do. And we were like, and he was like, oh. I've, said, heard, I've heard her tell other people, honey, you need to look for a new career. Yeah, and <laughs> she's serious. I mean, I was, she I was, was serious, because she would. She would say, mm, no, 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 go to plan B, definitely plan B. But she watched his film, and she was so proud of him, and she said, oh my gosh, Chase, she said, there's a few things you can tweak, and I'll, I'll make a list for you as far as little things. And it was like, okay, Grandma. But she said, but you know what? She started crying, and she said, you have the it factor. And she said, I feel so blessed and so happy to know that, oh, thank God, he's going to go out there and do good. It's not going to be embarrassing. <laughs> and she was just so proud of him, and we're just so happy that she was able to see some of his film. And we know that she is truly looking down right now and feeling honored and so happy that all these people showed up. We're so happy too. I mean, you guys make us feel so special today. And I want to say I'm so happy that my mom and dad are here, Chase's other grandma and grandpa. And uh, Chase, poor Chase, two very strong grandmothers because my mom has her opinions too. But anyway, well, thank you. I would like to tell all of you one thing because as far as I know, Elaine and I were the first to ever see Chase direct a professional uh, scene, and that was at NBC in California. At age? At age five. <laughs> he was a child star in this soap opera, and they put him on the camera and let him operate the camera, Cam camera, and then they said, Chase, we want you to direct this next scene. And he and did, did, and did a fabulous job, and even corrected one of the stars because he didn't have his line right. <laughs> 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 and, uh, he also promised me, Rana, you're going to direct Chase's film, <laughs> and he did. He put my mom and dad in his last film. So, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I know she's very proud of me and everything that I've done, and I have so much further to go with my career because I've done nothing yet, and I'm very excited to what the whole road for what the road holds for me and, and uh, my group that I'm growing with consistently. But today's not about me. Um, today's about Eleanor Parker, the uh, wonderful woman that she was and the wonderful artist that she was. So um, I think without further ado. Yeah. Is it just I pull it? Is it not gonna like pull it? Right? There it is. Oh, wow. wow. Beautiful. We're gonna take just a minute or two of questions or comments before we move to the next venue. So if anybody has anything in your mind for any of us, please. Well, how many movies <laughs> did your mom make? Oh, Eighty-eight. She okay. Okay. Now, 88, 88 film and started in 88 film and television projects, three Academy Award nominations for Best Actress, uh, one Emmy nomination, one Golden Globe nomination, and she won uh, Best Actress at the 1950 uh, Venice Film Festival for Caged for Best Actress. Wow. Who 
What was her seventh film? The seventh film was They Died With Their Boots On with Errol Flynn. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know her seventh film, but her first film that she ever did, she had a, a, a regular part in, was They Died With Their Boots On, 1939 uh, or 41, uh, Errol Flynn. Who was her favorite actor to play in? Will. Um, yeah. Maybe my wife would know that better. <laughs> her favorite actor to play? Uh, gosh. Um, her, when she worked with Charlton Heston, she said, oh my gosh, he's so young and new and green behind the ears. She says, why did they cast me with him? I have to teach him everything. But um, she loved with Stuart Granger. And, and Robert Taylor was another one, too. And a little note on Robert Taylor. My mom was pregnant with me. Uh, I was born in 1952. Um, and, uh, he doesn't look at though, right? <laughs> and, and Robert, she co-starred with Robert Taylor, Above and Beyond, uh, a, a war, a, a war movie. I think uh, uh, about the bombing of Hiroshima or something. Uh, 1952, Above and Beyond. Robert, she starred opposite Kirk Douglas, Ronald Reagan. Um, we have great family pictures. Oh, uh, she did Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. She, she was friends with him, but she'd always say he was trying to take her out all the time. And you know, you know, I'm a good girl. I don't with guys like you. I'm like that's right, Grandma. You know. <laughs> Didn't she also star with someone's godfather? Yes, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> yes. Um, but yes, she. Uh, to her, what's really ironic is. The film that sort of put her on the map for most younger generations.